In part one of this video series on how to work with classic tweens in Flash, I showed you how to create this simple example of a circle that's moving from left to right. In this video, we'll add a bit more to the animation. When the circle reaches the right side, we'll make it go up, and then after that, we'll make it move back to the left. To do this is pretty simple. We just need to add a few more keyframes and add classic tweens in between them. Right now we have two keyframes. This represents point A, and this one represents point B. We then want the circle to move here, so this will be point C. And then finally, we want it to move here, so this will be point D. So I'll go ahead and add the third keyframe, which will represent point C. I'll place it here on frame 60. And now that I have this new keyframe, I'm going to move the circle to the new location. Again, make sure that your playhead is on the correct keyframe. If it isn't, then you can just simply click and drag the playhead, or you can just click on the keyframe where you want the playhead to be. So I'm just going to move the circle here. And now we have point A, point B, and point C. To complete the animation between point B and point C, let's add the classic tween. Right-click anywhere in between the second and third keyframes, and then choose Create Classic Tween. And now, let's test the movie to see the animation. You'll notice that the movement of the circle from point B to point C is faster than the movement from point A to point B. This is because the distance between the second and third keyframes, which represents point B and point C, is much shorter than the distance between the first and second keyframes, which represents point A and point B. To be clear, I'm not talking about the distance that the circle is traveling. I'm talking about the distance in between the keyframes here in the timeline. From the first keyframe to the second keyframe, we have 48 frames in between them. But from the second keyframe to the third, we only have nine frames in between them. So the duration is much shorter. This means that the movement in the second part of the animation has to complete itself at a faster pace because there is less time available for it. As I've mentioned in part one of this video series, the distance between the keyframes affects the speed of the tween. Okay, so now let's go back and add the part where the circle moves from here, then back to the left side. So again, we just need to add another keyframe. And then, we'll move the object to the new location. And then we'll add the classic tween. And that's it. Basically, for each new change in the position of the circle that we want to make, we just add a new keyframe. And then we move the circle to that new location. And then we put in the classic tween. And now, let's test the movie to see what we have. 